How's it going, Jeremiah? This is the Casio CTK3500. And in this tutorial, I'll be teaching you how to use this very affordable $139 keyboard to do MIDI song recording with a professional computing recording software. The first thing you want to do is to make sure that you're connected to a power supply. You want to get yourself a pair of MIDI cables, which is the same as your printer cable. You have a USB type A going to a USB type B. So this side of the connector will be connected to your keyboard. Make sure it is securely plugged in like this. This end of the cable will be connected to your USB connector on your computer. You then turn on the power on your Casio. After you turn on the power to the keyboard, you have to press the function button a couple of times until your screen shows local. And you go to your keypad here and change local to off. Because all sounds will be produced via your computer and not using the keyboard. Once you have done plugging in all the necessary cables into your keyboard and your computer, start up your computer, go to your web browser and go to bandlab.com slash products backslash cakewalk and you will get to this page. I will leave a link in the description. So make sure you go copy out that link in the description and you get the most exact place to download this. This is absolutely free no charge involved, you can use it forever, and it comes with built-in instruments, virtual instruments that you can start using straight away. After you've done with that, go to the download link over here, click on it, and click on this download button. Select where you wanna download. So in this case, I've already downloaded it. So once you've downloaded that, you can close your web browser and double click on the BandLab Assistant setup here and it would start to install. Once the installation is done, you will cut to this screen here. You would have to lock in using this gear icon over here. Once you have locked in and created a user account, you can go to the apps here and you would click on install the green icon here and you can select what you want to install. In this case, I'm installing everything select everything and click install and it will start downloading so once it has been downloaded you can go ahead and install it by clicking yes selecting your language accept the agreement and choose the basic one if you're a beginner select where you want to uh, save all your virtual instruments And once the installation is done, you can click finish. Once you have installed Cakewalk, you can just open it by clicking here. Or you will see an icon on your desktop here. And you can just double click this to open Cakewalk. And we will start with an empty project over here. Once you start an empty project, you will see a screen like this. Before you do anything else, you're gonna make sure that you go to your preferences. Over here. And you go to your MIDI devices, which is under here, and ensure that Casio USB MIDI input is turned on. Only then it will be accepting the signal from your Casio USB connection. So this is a USB class compliant device, so you, there's no need to um, actually install any further drivers for it. So once you've done that, you can click apply and then click closed. Right now when you play, nothing is happening because you have not chosen an instrument, a virtual instrument to route to your uh, MIDI data to. So if you go onto this part of your workspace, right mouse click, and you can see insert instrument here. Let's insert one instrument. And from here, you can choose the different instrument that's already included in Cakewalk itself. So right now, let's select uh, 
electric piano. And once you're done, click create and you'll see the screen here. So when you play your keyboard, wow, the sound, but the sound is not coming out from the keyboard itself. The keyboard is sending instruction to this virtual instrument. And this is much better quality than the one that is built in to the keyboard itself. And you can then adjust different stuff, different parameters. Okay, and once you're done, you can close this and you can see on this part of the uh, workspace, it says electric piano. Let's set a tempo here on this side of the screen. Let's set it to perhaps 88. And let's turn on the metronome. Let's have a, clicking the metronome icon here, let's have a one bar count in. And we will record with the metronome. Once you've done that, click apply, click close and arm the recording by clicking on this button here. This is to tell the computer, the program, that you want to record this track. And once you've done with this, you go right back up to here. There will be one bar. So once you're done, just click stop here and you can play back. You can switch this off, turn off record and you can play back. Let's recreate another track here. Let's right mouse click, insert instrument. And this time we're going to insert a drum kit instead and create a drum kit. So you can actually play the drum kit and adjust the different parameters, more reverb, more compression if you want to. Okay, once you have done, you can close this window and you can see that there's a drum kit created here. Click on your record to arm it and then click record here and follow. There you have it, you have created two tracks. So turn off the arm on your left side of your workspace and now when you press play, you have created a two track recording. And there you have it, a very simple two-track recording. You can add as many tracks as you want to. You can also download third-party virtual instruments. You can buy it or there are lots of free stuff out there that you can download and use together on this DAW. I've just started you off with this. If you found it useful, do give this video a like and a thumbs up and let me know in the comments below if you found this useful. And I'll see you soon in my next one. Bye-bye.